Oh great, the 10 minute warning on my GoPro just clicked in. Okay, so today, we're gonna to try to build that jib crane that I've been talking about for the camera. I think I got all the aluminum and I think I finally got all the parts to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all this stuff up and put it all up and then I'm gonna get started on that jib crane. And then this is the idea behind it, is this right here, this is the base for it. And this is what we're gonna build off of, um, hopefully. It works. I've been buying certain nuts and bolts and I think I got plenty of wood to complete the task. The drill's fully charged. So I think we're going to commence with trying to build it. Here we go. Okay, so this could... Let me show you what I'm working with. Okay, so my idea is this frame it has these all the way around it so this will be ideal for me to screw some wood into so i was trying to see how much wood i needed and i take that and just screw that screw out but anyway i could sit it down in there build me a wood frame all the way around it okay and then once i've got a wood frame all right built all the way around it then i could take another piece of wood and run it across through the top like that and then i run into an issue this is the mounting plate this is what we're going to use to physically mount the two brackets the l brackets and everything that are going to hold the actual crane in place so these are the support arms for it and they will have to be measured and cut. These will have to have a spacing in between them. So I got plenty of bushings and washers to fix that. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this platform actually needs to be way up here. At least, I would say, up to my stump. It needs to be at least way up here. But anyway, once that is attached, the rails will get attached through the brackets, like that. And what you'll be able to do is mount the camera to the end of the poles. And then what you do is you'll have a counterweight on the back to lift it up, and then you can move it like this. But the whole, see that was my other problem, was how am I going to get rotation into it? Like how is it going to rotate like that? So my idea behind that was, well hell, the whole, the whole stand can move with it. Just keep it in one position and you can just move the stand. So that's the idea behind it. Uh, now I just got to figure out a way to get all that into what I want. So yeah, let's put our thinking caps on. All right, so it fits there, I'll have to fix that. All right, so, so far, so good, now let's, let's see here. I bet I can cut it for the same size over there and I'll be good. So, yep, yeah. all right. Went ahead and got two identical pieces cut. Now I need more wood to fit in between here and continue. So I'm thinking, where can I get more wood from? Light bulb. Um, these are the light stands right here. So what I'm thinking is taking it apart, or at least one of them. I'll probably take apart the bigger one because it's more wood. So yeah, I can uh, use that piece right there. So I just took apart that stand and I cut it. And I'm curious to see if this piece will fit in there. 
Let's see. Oh, beautiful. And it does. Damn, I'm good at this. All right, now I need to cut one more to fit in there. And then I can screw it all together and then start working on the platform. But I had to get a, a foundation built first. You know how that goes. So I got that part done. As you can see, they're, they're secured. Now what I have to do is I'm deciding that I might take two of these and go like that with the second one. Or I could do it like this. I'm not exactly sure. And then put another one on top because the whole idea is that we have to get this thing high. It has to be high off the ground. So I'll have to go look around and see what I can find. So I dug this out of the closet. This used to be a uh, clothing rack um, a while ago. But with the clothing rack and then the mounting bar I want to use, it's either lose this or lose this. Well, I got to thinking about it and I'm like, well, you know what the problem is, is that this stands too tall. I need it to sit a little shorter. Plus, if I can get it to sit shorter, I could have a better way of mounting it. So my idea is to cut the legs all the way off, all the way around. And what that'll do is it'll take all this height out of it, drop it down. And then with these, now being level, I can run bolts and screws or just bolts, whatever I need to do to anchor them down. That way I'm not trying to just support this entire thing off of these little legs. So I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll frame this in. I'll finish boxing this in with some wood to give it a, a more you know sturdier support. And then we're going to cut these off with the saws off right there. And that should drop it down to where I want it to be. And then on top of here, since this is perfectly flat, I can use a nice square piece of wood and bolt this sucker to it. And hopefully I'll have a crane. And then the best part is, is the, the whole thing, well, once it's secured, it'll be on wheels. It'll be able to roll around like that. So, all right, back to work. Let's cut them off. So I got two down, and I have two to go. So let's get this sucker flipped over. Alrighty. Proceed to cut. All right, four down, and as you can see, I got them as smooth and clean as possible. So let's set this sucker back up and see if it improves. Oh yes, very nice, very nice, much better. See that? Now it's really starting to come along. Perfect. I may actually not need that. That's solid aluminum right there, so I could actually scrap that sucker. But I think that might be big enough and tall enough. All right, I'm done for the day. I'm wore out. I'm hungry. I'm hot, sweaty. It's like, I don't even know. Let me see. Yeah, it's 7.30. All right, yeah, and the bugs are starting to come out. So I think what I'll do is I'll pick this up for a round two. So part two coming out, look forward to it and maybe we can get this finished up. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, Don's projects on the move, things we gotta build. It's just the way it is, it's how I go. Make sure to give me a like guys and subscribe and as always, you guys be cool and thank you so much for watching, bye.